For today's buttercream flower piping tutorial, I will be teaching you how to pipe these fun zinnia flowers. Begin by attaching a square of parchment to a flower nail. For this tutorial, we'll begin with a number 101 tip. With the wide end facing out, pipe a ring in the center of your flower nail, top with a second ring, and this is about one inch in diameter. You can see that the outer edge is higher than the inside edge, and that's gonna add some nice dimension to these buttercream zinnia flowers. Begin at the inside edge of your ring with the narrow end facing up to pipe your petals. So you're going to apply pressure, pull up and pull back down before sharply pulling away. For your next petal, tuck your tip right next to the first one and pipe in that exact same motion. So apply pressure, pull up, pull back down and then give your flower nail a turn in between each of these petals. You want to pipe them long enough so that they extend over the side of the base so that it's not showing. I did a few of mine too short, but we can easily cover that up by layering our flowers or adding some leaves once we place these on our cake. So now that we have finished that first layer of petals, we're gonna come in and do our second layer. And this time we're gonna do them about half the length that we did for that first layer, but in the exact same motions. So you're gonna apply pressure, pull up and pull back down. And as always, all of these instructions as well as the buttercream recipe can be found in the description box below. So make sure to check that out as well. So let's just pipe our last couple petals here, carefully adding our final petal so that we don't run our tip through that first petal. And you can see this is a nice 3D flower. I'm going to switch to a number one tip with some orange buttercream and I'm just going to fill in the center. This part doesn't have to look pretty because we're actually going to pipe over it. This is essentially going to act as the base for our next step. So I'm switching to a number 233 tip and this is a grass piping tip. I'm going to place it right over that center and I'm just going to apply a tiny bit of pressure and pull up. I'm going to turn and I'm going to do the exact same thing and that's going to create a lot of nice little dots in the center of our flower and save us from piping all those individually. Switching back to my number one tip, I'm going to add some nice long stamen in between each of those yellow dots on the outer edge and honestly you can add as much or as little as you would like to finish off your flowers. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, consider subscribing. I do a new piping tutorial each week. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Thanks so much for watching.